Hello everybody. Today we're going to start talking about our art elements and principles and for our first set of worksheets we're more focused on the art elements and whenever you're thinking about art elements, basically whenever I'm looking at a piece of art, these are the building blocks that I have to add to make a picture obviously come to life. If I don't have these seven things, I will not be able to make a picture. So our first one that we're going to start talking about today is the art element line. So up on the top of your worksheet, obviously I need your name, and if they're cut off, I'm sorry, I need your first name, so mine will be obviously Miss K. And then whatever class period that you're in. That way if it gets lost, I'll be able to get it back to you because you will be able to use these on your final test. So our art element of line is defined as a point moving in space. So basically if I touch my pencil to paper, I've made a dot, and this dot is now moving to make a line. So, down here below, we're going to start doing some of our examples. So I need you to try to draw a straight line as best you can. One of the tools that helps me is whenever I lock my wrist and I just pull from my elbow. So I lock my wrist and I get more or less a pretty straight line even though it's kind of curved on the one slanted side. I do a wavy, so it kind of looks up and down. curly. So if I was going to draw somebody's curly hair, those would be those loop-de-loops. Take your time on them and try to make them look nice. Awesome. We have zigzags. These are just those up and down motions that have the angles in between. Not exactly like lightning, but pretty close. Okay, dotted. This is just a line that has spaces in between and my eye connects them because it's implied that these lines or these dots go together to form our line. And you can do this not necessarily in a straight line. You could do it a wave. You could follow this. You could do a curly Q dots. Any which way you want. Squiggly is just a little bit more erratic or how would I describe it? It's basically like I'm not following a set pattern. So I'm squiggling. You can curve back on it, go back, loop around it. That works for me. Lightning is wherever you have like branches that come up off of it. So I'm going to start with my la main lightning rod, this big branch, and then it kind of tees off like tree branches do. Go back, add more. Add a little branches off of that and just kind of fill in your space. A circle chain. So basically I do open circles and I connect them side to side and fill those out. And I need that all the way to the edge of the page. Now for the last two, those are ones that you will be able to choose. So for example, I could do a bumblebee dashed line. So instead of just a regular dotted line, I could do dashes. You do not have to steal this idea. In fact, I kind of prefer that you don't. Try to show me something that you think about. Look around our room, think about our different lines that you see, and you can always use some of those. Another one that I could do, maybe a tattered edge. Like if I have a really old shirt, wherever it gets like really um, broken up and kind of jagged on the edges, maybe I could do that. It's so kind of like this. So there's little V shapes that are sometimes longer, sometimes shorter. Now, once you have all these filled out, I know it's kind of cut off. Most of you guys is probably going to be cut off as well. It says on the back of this sheet, so flip it over, draw a picture using at least five different lines. So you can make any picture you want. You could do a house, you could do a bird, you could do whatever you want. But think about all these different lines that we've been using and draw a picture using at least five different ones. Okay? 
I'm not going to show you an example because this is 100% up to you. Now when you finish drawing your picture, if you would like to add color, and I highly suggest it, that is part of your grade, um, please just raise your hand and I will say like whether or not you're done and then be able to get you guys those color pencils that are on my front table. If you have any other questions or need some help, please just call me over with your hand. Um, I would be glad to help you guys out. This is one of our more simple ones, but like I said, the art elements, they kind of build upon one another, so it gets more complex as we go. So take this one as a grain of salt, and then later on it just gets more and more difficult, okay? If you guys need me for anything, please just call me on over. I'd be glad to help.